Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Microsoft OneNote and in this video I'm going to show you my top 5 tips. If you find this useful please click the like button, hit subscribe and tap that bell, it means a lot to the channel. And with that said let's jump on over to Microsoft OneNote. Okay so uh, here I am just within my Microsoft OneNote application and my top tip number one is going to be inserting voice notes. In order to do this we're going to head over to the insert tab, um, navigate across to the recording section and click record. The second that we click the record button it actually starts the recording. Um, once you are happy that you've recorded absolutely everything that you would like just click on the stop button. From here you'll then notice we have a playback function, a pause, stop, um, rewind for 10 minutes, rewind for 10 seconds and um, fast forward for 10 seconds and fast forward for 10 minutes. Um, voice recordings are incredibly useful if it's just uh, about getting some quick notes down on a piece of paper that you can um, then type up later. Okay, so that was tip number one. So the second tip I have for you here is about importing your meeting details. This is an incredibly powerful function um, that is really useful if you have um, meetings that have agendas and you'd like to actually take notes on the agenda during the meeting. In order to import the uh, notes directly into your application and your notebook, what you do is you head over to the home tab of the ribbon and on the far right hand side you see meeting notes. If you click on the meeting notes um, you'll see the uh, meetings that you have scheduled today um, and if you cannot find the meeting that you're looking for there, underneath there, there is an option to choose a meeting from another day. So in my case, I have no meetings today. I'm going to click on choose a meeting from another day. This opens up a dialog box here um, that now lets me scroll through the various days until I find the meeting I'm looking for. So in my case, I am looking for this particular meeting here and I have two options. I can click the insert details or I can just double click on the meeting itself and that will import it. So I'm just going to double click this um, and there we go. The meeting has now actually imported all of the notes uh, that I have um, into my OneNote application. Just so happens that for this particular meeting I do not have any notes actually in there. Okay, but this is incredibly powerful. It again gives you the subject um, of what the meeting is, the date um, that is happening and so forth etc. Okay, um, and that was tip number two. Next on the list I have is the ability to actually import known files to your notes. And this is incredibly useful if there's a document that um, you would like to basically link into. Um, and there's a few different options that you have with that. I'm just going to show you how to actually just drop the document in here so that you can open it up later um, if needs be. Um, but you also have other options where you can, for PDF for example, actually just print the PDF um, into the page itself so you can read the document. Um, but I'm going to just show you how I drop a document in to my notes um, so that I can open it up later on. In order to do this, we're going to click on the Home tab, click Insert, and then navigate over to the File section. Um, so the printout obviously lets you print a PDF directly to the page. The file attachment is exactly what I'm looking for, in which case it lets me drop the document onto the page. And then the spreadsheet is the ability to actually um, put the Excel spreadsheet as an image um, into your document itself. Um, and then you can edit the Excel later using Excel itself. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually click on the file attachment here. Um, and then I'm going to go and bring in my bullet journal OneNote application and now here I have my file that I can open up um, and that will bring me straight to my bullet journal. Okay, And that is how you go about adding um, files directly into your OneNote application. Next on the list um, we are going to be talking about how you create tags. Um, tags are incredibly powerful um, and when you use them correctly it basically lets you search your notebook for those specific tags um, so you can get to the information that you're looking for really quickly. Um, in order to use this we go over to the home tab, navigate over to the tags section and then there's a little box here and there's um, an expand more option. 
just click on that and then you'll see all of the options that you currently have within OneNote. And then at the very bottom here, it's customized tags. If you click on the customized tags, it opens up a section here. Um, and what we can do is actually click on new tag and then you can give it a name. So I'm going to call this um, that office guy and that's my tag. I can then choose a symbol and we have quite a few different options to choose from. Um, so I'm going to go and click on the lightning bolt. We can choose a font color. Um, I'm going to stick with um, black because that's perfectly fine. Um, we also get to highlight. So if we'd like um, anything with this particular tag to be highlighted, we can choose that there. So I'm just going to click on yellow. So everything now that has my tag will get the thunderbolt and will be highlighted in yellow. Just click OK and click OK again. And now our tag has been added into our document. So now if I go and say, um, for example, this is a um, test note. And then I go and actually tag that with my um, that office guy tag. You can see not only has it formatted the document and added the Thunderbolt there, um, it also now lets us um, search our document for any notes that we've made called that office guy. And this is an incredibly powerful tool um, that if you're not already customizing tags or using tags, I highly recommend that you do. Um, and I can't stress enough that this functionality in Microsoft OneNote uh, along with synchronizing is one of the best features of the entire application. Okay, and that was our tip number four. Okay, so moving on, we are talking about password protection. Okay, so in this um, tip, we're going to talk about how we can actually lock down our sections with passwords to prevent anybody else actually having access to those particular pages um, without first putting in the correct password. Um, this is um, probably really important if you have um, notes that are being taken uh, at, in, a, in a work environment um, or even arguably um, when you're uh, taking lectures and you don't want anyone else accessing your specific notes without you um, first obviously giving them authorization to do so. Um, so to do this what we do is actually navigate over to the section that you'd like to protect, give it a right click and then scroll down to protect um, password protect this section. If you click on that option there, on the far right hand side, you get the ability now to set a password. Um, so if I just click set password, we get to enter that in here. So I'm just going to type out my password and then I'm going to confirm it just here. Um, and then it gives you a bit of a caution here. So it says, if you lose or forget the password, OneNote cannot recover your data. Remember that passwords are case sensitive. Okay, so very important that um, once you have um, password protected a section um, and the pages that fall within that section that you do not forget that password that you've used um, and obviously just bear in mind that they are going to be case sensitive but once you do this and you click OK um, you will have the ability now to say OK protect all sections um, once this once you unlock password protected sections they unlock for a while you can lock all sections now control Alt L so that locks all. Um, now I believe it's 15 minutes um, of complete idle time in OneNote um, and then that particular section will become locked. Okay. Um, that being said obviously we can just go ahead and control alt l for locking and now you can see how um, this section require is password protected um, press um, so I click here or press enter to unlock it. You do that and then it asks you for the password um, and then I can just type in the password that I created, press enter and now I'm back into my section. So this is incredibly powerful. It's um, probably more useful in the work environment where you attend um, potentially private and confidential meetings uh, and you're using OneNote to take notes in there. Um, and you need to lock those particular pages um, down, then this is uh, the functionality for you. Um, and that is it, guys. Hopefully you guys found this useful. If you did, please click on the like button, hit subscribe, and tap that bell. It means a lot to the channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.